Social media is ubiquitous with online marketing. Every modern day business uses it without questioning whether they should, which ones they should use, or how to use them. In this video, I'm gonna explain the five types of social media users so you can clarify which one you are. I'm as curious as you to find out, so let's get on with it. And make sure you watch all the way to the end because I'm gonna share details of two things that will help you with your online confidence, regardless of the type of social media user that you are. Hi ladies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Abigail. I'm one of the creators of the Caffeinate Academy, a digital minimalist learning hub and community for over 40 women entrepreneurs. On this channel, we talk about and share the things every midlife entrepreneur needs to know to create content and generate leads to give her the online confidence she needs without the overwhelm of the social media hamster wheel. Most solopreneurs and small business owners have a general online strategy of everyone else is doing it, so I should too. Well, 2022 is the year of change and personalizing everything from where you conduct your business to how you conduct your business and yes, even to the role social media plays in your online marketing. Social media is no longer a one size fits all approach to online marketing. It's never been actually, but this is the year to actually take a step back, really think about the role social media plays in your business and by extension your life and make some changes that can have a big impact on your personal well-being, your productivity, and your professional success. So in order to make those changes, you first need to know what kind of social media user you are. From my experience, generally, the kind of social media user you are in your personal capacity is the kind of user you are in your professional capacity. And given that this is the Caffeinate Academy, I'm gonna use coffee drinking to illustrate my point. So, what type of social media user are you? Are you the coffee addict? It's the first thing you do in the morning, you're doing it several times during the day, and you also have it just before bed, which means you're pretty much wired all day, every day, and every waking hour is dominated by the promise of the next fix. You're not particularly discerning about the type of coffee either, as long as it's hot and strong and gives you what you need. If you're honest with yourself, very little else gets done, and you tell yourself that social media is the work. You're in all the groups and all the feeds on all the platforms and you're constantly jumping from one app to the next all day long. Or are you the two to three cups a day kind of person? You have sufficient discipline and a set routine that you rarely diverge from, so you're governed by well-entrenched habits. You'd prefer a good quality coffee, but frankly, you'll take whatever is available when the coffee clock strikes. You're aware that on some days you actually don't feel like that second or third cup, but Routine is routine, so you have it anyway, and then kind of end up feeling a little sick afterwards. Kind of like that feeling when you post something on social media. You know, because you have to. And you either land up in a little scroll face that you didn't plan on, or when you've shared a post out of habit or obligation, then you secretly get upset when you get no likes or comments. Or are you the love the smell but hate the taste kind of person? That aroma just hits the spot and you live vicariously through other people's enjoyment of the liquid gold. In social media land, you're either a lurker, endlessly scrolling but never posting or engaging, or you've outsourced your social media because you want to appear like you love it, that you're with it, and that you're on it, but you'd rather not do it yourself or be there at all, so you make someone else do it for you out of social media FOMO. Are you a quality or nothing kind of person? You've done your research and you've tasted enough bad coffee in your life to know what you like and what you don't like. You'd rather have one really good cup of quality coffee or nothing at all. You're not dependent on it, you simply enjoy it for its richness and flavor. The process of preparing and then savoring has a purpose and intention. You don't like meaningless interactions, you'd rather have good quality conversations. So you don't need or like social media, and you've found alternate ways to connect with loved ones and community. One-to-one -one conversations, direct outreach, regularly writing or creating meaningful long-form content that actually impacts lives and makes others feel seen and heard. You're spending most of your time creating and providing value that actually makes a difference. Just like life is too short to drink bad coffee, you've realized that your time and energy is too valuable to waste on transient social media platforms. Or Perhaps you're a teetotaler. You've never liked coffee and you've never been on any form of social media. In fact, you don't even have an online presence at all. If that's you, what's that like? So those are the five types of social media users. Which one are you? Or even better, which one would you aspire to be? 
Here's those two things I mentioned that will help you with your online confidence regardless of the type of social media user you are. The first is a free online quiz that will tell you your online confidence score. If you don't know where you are, you won't know where to go. So start by taking this 10 minute quiz and discover not only what your score is, but also where your online confidence levels are at the lowest. Head to caffeinate.com forward slash quiz. And the second thing that will help you with your online confidence is our monthly online work with you workshops. These are two hour long interactive workshops that we're running throughout this year, where instead of passively listening to a speaker drone on about this and that, you're actually doing the thing that you're learning while you're on the call. That's why it's called a workshop. So check out our events calendar at caffeinate.com forward slash workshop for a list of the upcoming topics and get yourself booked. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and comment in the section below with the type of social media user you are. I think I'm definitely a quality or nothing girl with perhaps a hint of love the smell but hate the taste. How about you? See you in the next video.